Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you about all the projects that are in the virtual museum. So I'm going to talk to you about what are all the cool critters that you can biomap in your garden or in nature reserve or wherever your travels might take you. So the virtual museum provides a platform for citizen scientists to contribute to biodiversity projects. So you can make your photos count for biodiversity conservation. So first up, we've got PHONE, which is an acronym which stands for Photos of Weaver Nests. PHONE is a conservation project aimed at determining the distributions of colonies or nests of all weaver species globally. So you can submit photographs of weaver nests from anywhere in the world. Uh, Many weavers are common while some weaver species are threatened, and this project provides an easy way of monitoring weaver birds. And just a nice example of a record that we have in the database, this beautiful photo of a village weaver busy constructing his nest was submitted by Dave Rimmer. Then next up, Mammal Map, which is the Atlas of African Mammals. The objective of Mammal Map is to generate 21st century distribution maps of Africa's mammals. Because oftentimes um, the distribution maps that we have are quite outdated and we need to know what's happening uh, with the species distributions right now in order to um, effectively protect them. So Mammal Map, Mammal map consists of digital photographic records of mammals along with accurate geographic coordinates of where the pictures were taken. And here's a lovely example of a lesser bush baby <laughs> peeking out from his little hidey hole. And this photo was uploaded to Mammal Map by Derek Solomon. Then there's Lepi Map, the Atlas of African Lepidoptera, which is butterflies and moths. Uh, Lepimap is the continuation of SAPCA, the Southern African Butterfly Conservation Assessment. Um, but, but now Lepimap has expanded to include moths as well, and we're covering the whole of Africa. And uh, we are very proud to have the Lepidoptera Society of Africa as a partner in this project. And a lovely example of a mottled green nymph. They are gorgeous butterflies. Uh, Bart Boosten submitted this photo to Lepima. Then Reptile Map, the Atlas of African Reptiles. Uh, it's the continuation of the Southern African Reptile Conservation Assessment. And, but now we're also covering the whole of Africa. And this project is helping us to understand distribution patterns of reptiles and thereby we can uh, more effectively conserve these amazing, amazing animals. And the data from this project has been used to publish the official red list of the reptiles of Southern Africa. Awesome example of a really cool snake. One of my personal favorites is an Eastern tiger snake and Eugene, Eugene Trotsky uploaded this photo to Reptile Map. The Baboon Spider Atlas of Africa. Uh, spider Map aims to document the distribution patterns of the baboon spiders belonging to the family Therapocidae. <laughs> you can pronounce that <laughs> however you want. Um, but we also, we don't just accept photos from of baboon spiders. You can submit photos of any, any type of spider. Um, the IDs on these might just take a bit longer since the taxonomy is, is constantly changing. So we're updating the species list as we speak. Um, but yeah, any, any photos of any spiders, welcome to submit those. And a lovely example of the golden brown baboon spider, also by Eugene Trotsky. Next, we've got frog map the Atlas of African Amphibians. Uh, FrogMap is also a continuation of a previous project called SAFAP, um, the Southern African Frog Atlas Project. And 
this uh, database consists of many years of field work going back since 1996, um, plus even earlier data, data from museum records and, and things like that. And here's a stunning photo of a Cape ghost frog uh, uploaded by Walter Nieser. Uh, these frogs are, are so stunning. Um, and you find them in, in the mountainous areas of the Western Cape province. Scorpion map. We're also mapping Africa's awesome scorpions. Um, images of all African scorpions are welcomed. Um, and they all contribute equally to uh, better our understanding of the distribution patterns of these fascinating animals. The distribution of most of most um, scorpions out there is not fully understood, and therefore Scorpion Map will, is really helping us to understand where these species occur and how best we can work to conserve them. Here's a great example of Parabuthus rhodus with uh, a prey item, uh, looks like some sort of beetle. So this was a great capture by Richard Jesnitz from the Northern Cape uh, in South Africa. Then we've got Bop, which is birds with odd plumages. Uh, birds with all sorts of unusual plumage variations are observed from time to time. And Bob aims to provide a place where the photographs can be curated into one database. Uh, this will provide the opportunity to look for patterns. So do certain species have abnormal plumages, plumage more frequently than others? And are there areas um, in Africa where um, these unusual plumage patterns pop up more frequently than in other areas? And here's a great example of a cattle egret, a very pink cattle egret. Uh, this photo was taken by Brian Culver. And we've also got in the Virtual Museum, we've got a project for um, just any, any photos of any birds. Um, you can submit those to, to BirdPix and, and the data that goes into BirdPix is also helping with the African Bird Atlas project. So it's, an, it's another way of gathering data for the Bird Atlas. Odonata map is the Atlas of African Odonata, uh, the insect order of dragonflies and damselflies. Uh, it's a virtual museum project aiming to map the current distribution of the insect order Odonata and then two, to serve as a repository for all existing distribution data for these um, insects in Africa. Um, dragonflies and damselflies are extremely important water quality monitors. Uh, these insects are amazing. They've been around for a long time and uh, mapping their distributions will definitely help with conserving them and also taking a look at where where we need to focus our water conservation efforts. Here's a lovely example of a common tiger tail photographed by Diana Russell. We're also mapping trees, uh, any trees found on the African continent. Uh, you can submit to tree map in the VM. And here, of course, is, a, is an awesome baobab tree, Andersonia digitata. Chris Willis photographed this beautiful, beautiful baobab tree. And yeah, that's it. Uh, you can go take a look on the Virtual Museum website. Go, go take a peek there and you'll see all the different kinds of projects that you can get involved with and get snapping and mapping for conservation. Thank you.